Grinders, you know who it is, your boy Pokewinger, back on the grind. Guys, sorry for the uh, lack of videos, it's been a long time. Uh, I'm just going to quickly sum it all up for you guys real quick. Here's the graph for the year. Um, I, there's been a lack of videos because I was contemplating what I wanted to do, and I don't want to do a bankroll challenge uh, anymore, so I'm going to call the 10k challenge a fail. Uh, I, dip, I did dip below the 5,000 so we got to a high of about 6,900 and then I went on a downswing. This is the graph playing grand tour to start the year and uh, I don't know, around here we were about 6,900 I would imagine. Then we went on a big downswing, uh, got below 5,000 and then uh, I've actually been playing um, spin and goes. Uh, flash and uh, some max. I'm going to show you guys a kind of a big spin in a second here, but I just want to sum it up. Um, I'm not quitting the challenge because of a downswing. Um, I just don't want to do what I was doing. And I know it's only February 13th, and I told you guys March 1st, sorry, January 1st, all my goals for the year, but uh, they have switched. So I thought I would have a lot more time this winter. Um, I'll show you the graph overall. Um, all the, all the games I've ever played on this HUD. Um, but anyways, I thought I would have a lot more time to grind than I, than I did. I thought I would want to do it more than I do. And uh, I've shifted my focus. I, I spent a lot of time studying the stock market. Uh, I watch videos every night, kind of learning strategies and how I want to do that. Um, my work is about to get extremely busy. Probably my busiest year I've ever had uh, in the pool industry. I've been doing that for 20 years and I think I'm going to be busy. And then on top of that, gyms are about to open in about a, in a month. And then I, I have, uh, you know, uh, a family, wife, son, and uh, I just want to shift my focus. But I will do videos the odd time. I'm just uh, stopping that challenge. I still have money in my account. I, I didn't go uh, bankrupt. Um, so that's just a quick sum. Some of you guys will have mixed feelings about that. But reality is I just, uh, I'm 38 years old and uh, shifting my focus. But having said that, I just want to show you guys the graph. So I have ran pretty bad over 35,000 tournaments. Um, I showed you the graph for the year, but uh, just a little sum of what's been going on, and I appreciate all the support for years. A lot of you guys have been really good to me, so I owed it to you to show you guys a video, and it took a while because I just wanted to make sure it's what I wanted to do, so I stopped playing for a couple days and realized I wasn't missing it, and uh, just a quick summary. But I am going to play the odd time just here and there, just with less amount in my account, and I thought I would show you guys a fun spin I had last night. Um, this is... a. Uh, so I'm going to try to go full screen. I'm not that good at this. And sorry, I couldn't. It's going to be a little blurry because of this layout. This is a $15 on the table on the left side. As you can see, it's an orange screen. That means it's a big spin. So it's a $15 spin and go max, which I've been mixing in what I've been playing are um, here and there. But uh, on average, it really hasn't been a big volume. Uh, most of my volume was uh, in January. Um, and then I've slowed right down. Um, so it's kind of just a summary, but I do apologize. So it's a fail to the challenge. Um, and I'm going to do a big cash out um, just to invest in the, the stock market and stuff like that. Um, but I will keep some money in my account to uh, to play here and there. And then when I have a big spin or whatever I'm doing, uh, if something cool happens like this, I will do a video. Um, so not for the summary, but I hope everyone's doing well. You can still write down your goals. I still like to you know, talk to you guys and stuff like that. Um, I haven't been talking to too many people because I didn't want to say something that I wasn't doing and I wasn't for sure if this is what I want to do, but I've had quite a bit of time to think about it and uh, I'm, I'm at peace now with, uh, with where I want to go this year. Okay, so table left is the big spin. I couldn't figure out how to make it bigger I don't know if you guys were watching that there. So sorry for the two tables. The table on the right does close soon, but there are two $15 spin and goes. Sorry, spin and go max. I have ace jack. I'm raising it up under the gun on table one. Um, so the payouts here, if you can't see it, first place has a chance to get uh, $1,000. Um, there's a buyout op option uh, for 500 and something. Um, if you don't know what spin and go max is, I only have 22 hands there. If I show you over here, 22 hands left, and then we're forced to go all in. So I don't play a lot of these, but my overall strategy is um, when it's this many people to play a lot a lot tighter and at least give yourself to go to the all-in round and just see what can happen because it's just a, it's just luck at that point. Um, so playing uh, very, very tight and, and not a type of style I'd play in a normal spin and go or a spin and go flash or even the Grand Tour. So um, you do have to adjust the style you play for every format. Um, I don't know if I'm playing this optimal. But um, I just, my overall strategy in like a big spin like this is try to minimize my variance. So if I don't have to take a lot of risk, um, 
I try not to. And then if I have a, you know, a, a, a big hand, then I kind of just look to, to get it all in. And hopefully someone uh, undervalues a hand is kind of how I play them. But uh, I don't play these regularly. So let's see how table one goes. Table two, if you're interested, uh, it's just... Uh, this is the lowest uh, you can get when it's a split blue screen. It means it's not a big spin. So we have King Queen earned the big one. Um, I'm even thinking about sending this to uh, OP uh, Poker uh, to James. He plays a lot of spin and go max. Um, I was thinking of uh, I mean, he'll know how to. I don't know how to make a video of editing just the screen I wanted to show you guys. I spent about an hour trying to figure that out and I couldn't do it. Um, okay, we have King Queen. We're all in it right away. Take this guy. He has eight six risking it all. And good for us, we did flop two pair there. So I called that guy a donkey even before uh, the flop was done there. Um, that was a play I don't think he needed to do. But you never know, maybe his notes are mean, thinks that's the right play. Okay, we have eight five offsuit, I just snap fold. Um, we do have the chip lead there it looks like. Okay, we have queen two offsuit, easy fold under the gun. Um, I still get questions all the time. Uh, what format do I recommend? Guys, it's totally up to you. Uh, it, it matters what you enjoy. Um, I've dabbled in uh, most things on Poker Stars. Um, as long as it's no no limit hold them, I've played. I haven't really played anything else besides no limit. Um, but I, I like to mix it up. I do like Grand Tour, but if I had to be totally honest with you, um, I know talking openly this doesn't make sense, but I was getting on big tilt that uh, I couldn't get a big knockout. So I played uh, around 12,000 games and uh, I could not get a big knockout and I kept winning final tables. And then my last knockout on every final table seemed to be like uh, blue balls. And uh, I know it shouldn't get me on tilt, but uh, I was getting on tilt and then uh, going on a downswing playing them. And then just every time you win to try to bounce back and getting small knockouts, uh, it just was getting to me. So I needed to take some time off from playing them because you should play without, you know, that shit shouldn't matter because you can't control it. It's just literally just luck. So you should just play even like a spin and go. You shouldn't worry about what size the spin is. Um, but you know, I am human. I do have my flaws and um, it, it was getting to me. Um, so here ace 10, I decided to limp there and that's the type of play um, I could raise and isolate, but I also don't want that guy to trap me. Uh, I just want to minimize my risk on table one. Um, and I wouldn't have done that in a normal spin and go. Uh, a, a limper there um, who's been limping a lot, I would have uh, raised him and tried to isolate him, especially in position. But um, I decided not to, and I think a lot of people could play that hand different. But uh, my goal was to to try to minimize that risk. Try to see flops for cheap kind of thing. And uh, we're in a good position that I didn't feel like I had to take risk. Now, if I had like seven or eight big blinds, I just would have probably jammed him there and then hope he didn't wake up with a monster. I think table two is almost done here. It says nine hands, so I just don't remember if I made it to the final there or not. For those who've been watching the channel from January 1st, I still haven't missed my 100 push-ups a day. Um, I did 100 a day in all of January, and I'm doing, uh, it's February the 13th today. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Make sure you get your, your lady something. Um... And this month, I've added 100 body squats a day with 100 push-ups. So overall, it sounds like I'm doing a lot, but I'm really not. I'm not not in good shape. I'm really missing the gym. But at least I have, um, I don't know, somewhat of a still keeping some strength. So when I get back in there, um, hopefully it doesn't take me as long. But uh, I really do think uh, I'll focus a lot on it when it does open up. I find it keeps me mentally... Uh, sharp and when I don't work out I just I don't feel like I'm, I'm myself so uh, since it's been closed for many months here I just feel like a bit of a rut so we'll see what happens 5-3 I'm against uh, small blind here he limped in that flop he's going to be a big limp in range uh, and like I said a lot of times I would stab here and do some risky things when I smell weakness but I just really wanted to preserve my chips for the all-in round
So I wonder what I did here. So Jack eight here, guys, like I would usually call there under limp, but I just, this big blinds, five big blinds. I don't want to risk him just jamming us when I'm about to be on the, the big blind, uh, sorry, the button, I get all those hands for free. But I could see people thinking I should limp in there. And obviously when you hit top pair, it looks like I should have. Um, but this guy here took me a while to figure out that he's just a donkey is what I labeled him. Him limping in all those strange spots were putting me in a bit of a position that I'm used to people limping when, uh, you know, they're, sometimes they're, they're trapping. Um, but after I saw him do it so many times, I realized uh, he's probably not what I think he's doing. He's just trying to play every hand. But I could be wrong. And that's the thing, when you play new new opponents, it just takes you, you know, a bit of time to feel them out. And if I played that guy a whole bunch of games, then I'd probably know what to do better against them. Easy fold. So we have an all in there, King Queen versus King Jack. The Jack gets it, I don't even remember. Oh, and he gets the heart, so sucks for that guy, losing a big spin like that. Okay, we have Jack 10. So I don't know. So this is a s spot, I just, like again, I just folded there. He's been limping this whole time, decided to race. So I would think he's stronger. Um, but he does have a chip lead now. So he could be just stealing blinds, but I decided to get out of the way. And uh, we had a pretty good flop. It would have been very interesting there. Um, but I wouldn't have folded after that flop with him betting that size. I don't think a queen ever leads out like that. But don't forget, people play different in these big spins. They get so paranoid of bad beats. Um, they're really afraid, and they just kind of even bet when they're strong. Okay, we're down to four big blinds, guys, with two hands, and then we're forced to go all in. So I folded there. We have one more hand here before we're all in. I have ace three. Pretty sure I would ship it there. I can't see myself folding. Because we're forced all in next hand. I can't see us getting a better one. So I did go for the ship here. I got to be honest. I don't even remember if he calls or not. Okay, so guys, we're all in. This is just fluke at this point. Pocket twos. Can we? Uh, we get out flopped. But we turn the trip twos. There it is. Um, this is how bad my memory is. I played this last night. I don't even remember what happened. Okay, we have a chip lead versus this guy. That's what I do for good luck. If you see, that's not me doing that right now, waving my mouse in circles. I've done that ever since I've been playing poker. Um, I used to do it on the flops and stuff, but... Okay, he wins it all in there. I throw a little horseshoe at him. King, queen versus king, jack. Have him dominated. We do flop the queen. We're one hand closer to the all-in stage, or the uh, bonus round. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can pause this for you guys. Um, we have, look at this, against pocket aces. We have ace-queen, and guys, we turn the 10. We took out aces, baby. Your boy could dodge bullets. Then we get ace-9 versus 10-3. And this guy flops the top pair. We have open-end with getting an ace and we don't get there so we still have the chip lead though because he didn't have much chips then we get 2-7 versus ace queen and what does your boy do he flops a 2 and he turns a 7 so that guy is drawing dead we took we won it with 2-7 um, I should get the tattoo on my back Okay, so guys, I'm going to pause this here and just see what you guys would do. If you haven't played these before, they have the, those are the what I could chance to win, and it, then they disappear here, they pop up. I'm going to pause it because I did it really quick. So, right in the comments, would you pick the left side, the, the middle, the right, or would you take a cash out of right now $500, and I bought in for $15. So I have a chance of $400, chance of $165, 1010 or a cash over five um if it was a bankroll challenge guys i would have probably took the cash out because 15 dollars is such a big amount but because i'm not doing the bankroll challenge and i just uh, have more gambling in me because it doesn't matter as much no more i decided to guess so let's see what you guys would have picked i decided to pick the middle one 
Let's see what happens. There goes the 400. There goes the 165. And your boy got lucky. Won the $1,010 from the 15s. So I'm going to end that for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys are going to say, luck, luck, luck. I get it. I've heard it a million times. But remind you of the draft of the year. Um, but I do appreciate being back, guys. Thank you for being patient. And uh, I will do videos from time to time. But uh, I did uh, fail on the challenge to 10K. But still up uh, you know, quite a bit of money from the challenges we did prior to that. So I'm still happy. And I'm happy I'm able to invest uh, my winnings uh, on the stock market. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. Enjoy it. Take care. Bye.